I don't have coocyte here. Rather, this is a quartz pseudomorph after coocyte. When the coocyte inverts to quartz, it expands and the pressure fractures the uh, porphyroblast around it. So that, that garnet, which is all black, is heavily, heavily fractured around that central region. Now, there was a coocyte crystal in there. It got plucked out when the thin section was made. So now it's just epoxy, and that's what the black core to that ring is. This is a higher magnification view of one of those pseudomorphs. There, it's epoxy in the middle. There's a ring of quartz, and then there's garnet around the outside. So when I cross the polars, you'll see the garnet goes black, um, and that little core epoxy goes black. Um, but there's this ring of quartz crystals that has a particular texture. It's called palisade quartz, uh, like little pickets in a picket fence. Um, and that is characteristic of quartz pseudomorphs after coocyte. Here you can see the same thing when I cross the polars. It's almost completely filled in with this palisade quartz. And you can see the garnet around it, the high relief mineral, is just intensely fractured. The thin section is a little too thick, and that's why some of the quartz here appears yellow. And this is just an example of a quartz pseudomorph after coocyte inside pyroxene, umphacite. Um, and so you see the radiating fractures. That core, again, is plucked out and is uh, epoxy. And, but you can still see that palisade quartz ring.